What's up guys, it's your boys of Wokey back out with another scary, creepy, all around paranormal video. But today's video is coming from Paranormies, another YouTube channel I definitely really enjoy, loved watching it, and you guys are going to watch with me on Scary Boys of Wokey of Poltergeist Activity parentheses, scary, inside the fire of the Heritage Home, the paranormal investigation with Paranormies. I'm super excited about this because we've been recently watching Franco TV and his investigation, and I definitely love enjoying watching Franco TVs and the reaction videos that we normally do, like uh, Nukes Top 5, King Frost, Mare, Chills, and so forth, and Goose Pimples. But we're going to be watching Paranormies. I've been wanting to do this for quite a long or quite a long time. So right right now, with you guys watching on Scare Wilkie, we're going to watch the Paranormies investigation that they did, I think, a few weeks back. This was back in January 29th, so a couple weeks ago. But we're going to be taking a look at it with you guys, of course. And so grab a chair, grab some popcorn, because it's a little bit of time. But we're going to be enjoying this one together. So let's take a look. If you guys are new to my channel, if you guys are returning and have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe down below by hitting that red bar icon down at the bottom right. Turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon next to it. So when I do post videos like this one, you're going to get that little ring notification that Sabuki myself has posted that video. And then you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, I thank you all so very much on this channel for all that you do because you guys are making this channel grow. We're almost to 10,000 subscribers because of you guys. So keep telling your friends and your family about Channel Zwoki and we'll grow even bigger in 2022. Also, make sure you guys check out the link in the description down below for the Paranormies link. Go over there, give them some love, do the thing, subscribe, comment, like, and share. Give them the love that they deserve for going out there, investigating, and doing their hard work on giving us this great content. So with that being said, let's take a look at what Paranormies caught on tape, the Poltergeist activity very, very scary. Let's take a look. It's a look in the fire. It looks like it's just wood. What it used to be in here. said get in. No. The door! It said open it. It is open. Get in. It said fire. It said open your mouth. Oh my god. Steven, is that you? Oh, I'm already chill. I got goosebumps. I got goosebumps. Into the fire. Oh, I'm all chilly. <laughs> it's so good. Paranormies. I'm gonna check them out. Normally we start off these videos by telling you guys the entire history of the place that we're investigating and we will tell you as much as we possibly can, but we can't tell you everything this time because it's come to our attention that there are people who are watching our videos and following us around and vandalizing the locations that we've visited. Seriously? Obviously this is absolutely despicable behavior and we Come do on, not man. condone any of our viewers no. visiting the places that we have gone to and vandalizing them because keep in mind that a lot of these places are still owned by real people who are trying to Why? preserve them and trying to pre preserve the history of the area we realize this is probably only like one or two of the same people doing it over and over again and we really like to think that it's not from our community that's doing it but if it was you need to understand that this paints us in a very bad light and it really affects us getting new locations going forward and you know if you're a fan of the channel and you want us to see us you know go to new locations then you'll have to stop doing this if ridiculous it's and with all that being said that's why we have to be a little bit more secretive about this location that we're at because it actually is a national historic site of canada it's the only one left of its kind in the province, and it's about 150 years old, and it belonged to the family that herded cattle for the entire area. Everything in the house is original, from the clock to the floors that were hand-painted by the women who had originally lived there. Wow. And the only thing that kept us warm during the negative 30 degree weather that we were going through was the wood stove located in the middle of the house. 
and it was the wood stove that actually got our attention in the first place. What well, used to be in here? It said get in. No. And for people to destroy stuff like that, come on, man. People who have stayed the night here before have reported waking up from a dream, feeling like they're claustrophobic with the strong smell of ash in the air. Other people have straight up had dreams of being burned alive in that very same fireplace. We didn't have a whole lot to go on story-wise about this house uh, before we got there, but given people's accounts of having these very strange, very vivid dreams inside of the house, as well as the very, very long and storied history of this place, we just had a gut feeling that there might be some sort of undiscovered and unreported paranormal activity happening here. And we couldn't help but wonder, is there a story here that we could help uncover that's been lost for more than a century? We had our eye on this place for a very long time. And finally, on the two coldest nights of January, we were able to stay in this house to see if we could potentially uncover this lost story. Hoi! Into the fire. So apparently the ghost has been asking them to jump in the fire. I would say the same thing as they did. No. Let's sit on this bed again. Last night when we were doing a live stream, you lit this up right on this bed. Is that you knocking? Gadget. Gadget, yeah, we do have some gadgets here. Give Jordan one good scare for me. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. That's for level five. Oh, that was insane. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. He's starting to freak out. He's, he's starting to have a... Uh... Oh, thank you. You're allowed to touch him. You're allowed to touch him. Lay in bed with him if you want to. Oh, it was so creepy. Thank you so much. I don't get it. This this went off like huh. this this went off like this this went off like this went off like red red. Sitting right here? Yes. For like a couple seconds, like two, three seconds. Like that. Holy what the fuck? Like that. Bro, it like takes that. a lot for that sucker to go like that. It just stopped. Yeah, like what? that. Thank you. We were just talking about it. Thank you so much. During this investigation, we did things a little bit differently. Um, we did do a live stream the night before on January 24th, and that is going to be coming into play a lot during this investigation. So I dated it on the uh, top of the screen so that you guys can tell basically the timeline of when things started to happen. Okay. But that's what we went for with this investigation because a lot of stuff did happen during the live stream that we want to touch on um, in regards to what was going on the night we were there. And you can't fake live stream it. It happens at that that moment. Could you do it again? See, now it's not doing it. only it. happened like twice though, so. Twice! Steven. 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 Ask what your name was? Yeah. Steven, if that's you, can you light up this K2 meter for us? You were playing with this last night a little bit. Steven, was this your house? Breathing. Breathing? That's so creepy it says that. I've been hearing a lot of knocking in this place. Fan. Fan? There's a fan going over here. You say there's a fan over there. I would love to feel how it is in there right now, like how cold. What about the fan? The fan is right underneath the clock. The clock, let's. You know how you can see that, like uh, the light through the window there? Yeah, oh yeah. I thought I saw something like pass by it. Oh, what's that? What was that? What? You hear that? That, that was That's like what a... I heard earlier. That was like a, like like a, a squeaking or something. Like yeah. A whistle. A whistle or a squeak, something like that, really high pitched. I've only heard it two times. Oh, whoa. What? It said go. Go? 
Oh, God. Oh, wait, you see it? You see that spike? On a clock. Look here. So, oh, yeah. Something right here. That is clock. Maybe it isn't the clock, though. I don't know yet. Well, it's going to be analog. Because it's not. Oh, clock! It, it just clock? said clock! It went off around it yesterday, like, a couple times, right? Yeah. Oh. No? Oh! Again, this is this is the only item we're not supposed to touch here. Bro, it's going off hardcore. It's a weird pattern. That is strange. Whoa. Whoa. You got more solid as you brought it down? Yeah. When the owner was giving us the tour of the place and just explaining how everything worked and how old the place was and everything. She did mention to us that we were absolutely not allowed to touch the clock under any circumstance. And we didn't question it at the time, but now we kind of wish that we did because one of the first spots during the live stream on the first night that we got a spike on the K2 meter was the clock, which it was only then that we really found that really suspicious and really felt that there was something attached to that clock or some kind of some kind of story to be told there. And not only was the K2 spike weird enough around the clock, we were standing around it trying to figure out what was going on, and then the spirit box that we had set up on the table... Said clock. It said clock. Clock! It, it just clock? said clock! Which really it furthered our suspicion that there was definitely something... Invalidated. ...surrounding that clock, or definitely a mystery there. Does this clock have some significance or sentimental value? There's got to be a story behind that clock. Yeah, I know. I'm hoping I couldn't find anything in the in what we read or what I was reading today in the books. I'm like watching around them like religiously. If anybody's here, can you tap on a wall? You do that? Oh, I thought it was. This K2, this K2 just went off. That camera would have actually caught it. Went off. Is this your rocking chair? Oh, REM pod's, Ooh, REM pod's going off. Oh my God. Steven, is that you? That stops. They have one of those compost toilets. So the K2 just went off. And then this goes off. What was that though? I don't know. I heard that. Sounded like wind or something. Like, uh, oh, shh, shh. There it is again. Oh, shh, shh. There it is again. One of these. I didn't feel a draft though. No. You think? I blow on a cup. I know that mm -hmm. that door has a draft, but that wouldn't. Like when you take it like this. Nothing there. Was this your rocking chair that you used to sit? Can I sit beside you? love to have a conversation with you. We did have a little bit of a conversation last night in the live stream when Jordan was laying in bed. I closed the toilet earlier. I was sitting on it actually when we were doing our solos. There's something in the bathroom. I heard something in the bathroom. Oh, there goes the... I saw the calendar move it. I'm just wondering if it was like a gust of wind. Is that you? I heard you over here. I don't want to startle you. I 
anybody's in here, can you let me know? Bathroom. We just were there. It just left the bathroom. Okay, bathroom. He cannot hear me. I can hear that spirit box so loud. How long are you in the bathroom? Uh, like, I don't know, two, three minutes? Two, three minutes? Like 30 seconds ago, I heard Johnny, where did you go? I know. It, it, it said, yeah, but it said bathroom. And then I went in there and it said, Johnny, where do you go? Dude, oh, that, that K2 beater started redlining. I'm nope. done. I'm done for right now. I know that in the live stream yesterday, people were saying that the toilet seat was like down and then it was up or vice versa. And totally unbeknownst to me, as this was going on, Johnny hears a noise from the bathroom. He went to go check it out, and as soon as he comes back, that's when I hear the word bathroom come through. It was the clearest word that I had ever heard in a sensory deprivation. And then this is the craziest part. As soon as he goes back to the bathroom to check it out, I hear, once again, very clear, Johnny, where did you go? And another weird thing to notice as this all this is going on during the entire live stream, it seemed that the toilet seat was going up and down. I know I had closed it at one point and then I closed the toilet earlier. It's just that bad. I was sitting on it actually when we were doing our solos. It was either we both went back or Johnny went back, something like that, and we noticed that it was it was up again. <laughs> so, you know, once again we were going into this completely blind. Uh, not a whole lot to go off of, but you know, Steven was a name that we had come to know throughout our time there that could potentially unravel some of the story that we had come to find out. Oh, I put a camera in that bad. Don't touch the Ouija part. No. This is bad juju, man. I will never touch a Ouija board. So we're trying to see if anybody's here. Maybe somebody named Steven or... Immediately the REM pod as soon as he said Steven. It goes right off. And it hasn't gone it hasn't off. Gone off <sighs> in during, hours. During the live stream, it, it didn't yeah. go off at all. And solid. Still it going. It go off earlier mm -hmm. that one time in the bathroom, but. That's really weird. Still going. Yeah, you heard that too? Yeah. It was a shh. Find me. I heard something behind me. Oh my god. Whoa. Hey, let's say goodbye. And solid. the hangers. It did go off earlier mm -hmm. that one time in the bathroom, but. That's really weird. What was that? Yeah, you heard that too? Yeah. It was a shh. I heard something behind me. Oh my god. Uh, I don't know. Okay, let's say goodbye. Okay, yeah. As soon as good. we brought this thing out, yeah. okay. Just move it. Goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye, yeah. wherever you are. Okay. That's why you don't touch that crap. Okay, so... That's a son of a biscuit here. moment. Sorry. Or do you want to... I guess we got to check that out first. That was it's still off going off. To be completely honest with you guys, I did have my doubts about this place being really haunted or, you know, the site of any sort of paranormal activity because of the lack of history and how old it is. You'd think somebody would have said... A little bit more than we have heard by this point so you know doing the Ouija board in my mind was almost like kind of like a dare like if anything is here then this is your shot right? that's a dare I'm not touching it's still going off I mean somebody's touching it you hear that too yeah, it's, it's like, like it's, it's something like shuffling. sliding yeah what is that that's freaking me out actually As soon as we brought the board out. Moan. moan. Moan? Somebody said they heard a moan yesterday. Yeah, I remember that. Yes, yes. Hearing a mo hearing moaning. Okay. So they're both going off? Steven, is that you? So somebody literally has to be touching that. Wow. Oh, 
Quake. Quake? Okay. That was interesting. As soon as we pull up the Ouija board. It's kind of weird. Stuck on 606. Was that Steven that we heard shuffling across the floor? Was that you that moved these? It looks like hangers. I keep hearing that shuffling. Weird hangers. It's like socks. Up. What'd it say? Up. Oh, the door! Like at the windmill? Bro, oh, there's nobody on the other side of the door. Sheep. Up. What'd it say? Up. Like at the windmill? Sheep. It doesn't Up. slam. What'd it say? Up. It shuts very quietly. Like at the windmill? Sheep. You in here? Now it's solid on two bars. Oh, it is. Up. That's creepy. There's just a bed sheet set up there. Is there a second floor? I don't think so. What'd it say? Bed. Bed. Hey. This door, oh. Shh. This door was closed. This door is closed. Hang on. I heard a knock. England. England. I thought I heard a knock. <laughs> oh! oh! Okay. That was weird. Is this your is this your bedroom, Steven? You know what I hate? This door oh Shh. This door was closed. This door is closed. Hang on. I heard a knock. England. I thought I heard a knock. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm, I'm hoping to have stuff like that okay. happen to me. That was weird. Is this your is this your bedroom, Steven? Oh. That door was a hundred percent open when we I think it was, oh. yeah. Got the shakes in my voice a little bit. I saw something out that window. That's a creepy picture. By the window. Like something like, white, wearing white. It wasn't a light. You think it was a actual? I don't think so. Is there a fire out there? Person. Oh man. I think Jordan and I went into this one a little bit more skeptical <sighs> with the both of us, but seeing the sock warmers move and then okay, sock seeing warmers. the door move and hearing the knock, whether that is paranormal or not or just a draft, it's very hard. To Come on, you're telling me that draft slowly pulled those up? To tell, but I think we both took this one with a grain of salt and made the best of it. And I think this one's up to you guys to, you know, let us know what you think because we're very. It's all this chilly. Isn't the, the craziest <laughs> thing we've seen. So this is one that we're just kind of, you know, questioning for now. Steven, did you. I'm assuming your name is Steven. If it's not, then I apologize. It seems like you really didn't like that we brought the Ouija board out. Yeah, it seems like that's immediately when Liberty. things... Liberty. Oh, the KT spiked England a bit. England and then Liberty. Yeah, really? yeah. Nothing Steve. now, though. Oh, oh there goes that in the bedroom? Yeah, in your room. Steven, was this... It seems like... It's like trying to piece a little thing together. Maybe that was his room. This was his rocking chair, because... Oh. Very weird. Just Ooh. one at a time. 
Yeah. Steven, was this your bedroom? Can I sit with you? No. Moan, Moan again. 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 There it goes, totally dead. Totally, as soon as I sit here. Am I sitting on you? <laughs> I'm sorry. Sit, sit there again. Can you sit there again? I'm gonna sit down, is that okay? Why? Well, now he doesn't sound happy now. Should he move? Oh. Yeah, move. <laughs> the heck? What was that? You know what that actually sounded like? It sounded like, like an old clock. Like that. What that say? Didn't say anything? Should what is that noise? Could it be a draft somewhere? I don't know. And we have two REM pods going on opposite ends of the house. Yeah. They're simultaneously the going off. On completely opposite ends of the house. Why is that one not going though? So I have three REM pods. One in the bathroom and one in the bedroom is going off. Going on. You know what it makes me wonder about those REM pods? Hmm. You know how like some people are like, oh, they're malfunctioning because they're just constantly going off. What if a spirit is just literally holding on to it because mm -hmm. it can gain some energy from it? Yeah. Like it's not like they're it's not that they're trying to do it to to maybe can we some communicate. Or they're say juicing anything, themselves up. Just, it's just an like, easy thing. Like it's yeah. almost like charging, you know? Yeah. Huh. It's an interesting thought. Well, it's yeah, a quick. Yeah, I gotta change the batteries. Okay. Oh, it said Johnny immediately. Who are we speaking to? Is this Steven? I said you. Are you talking to me or to Johnny? I. Okay. Uh, alone? You're just alone in this house? Uh, it said shower. Okay. Or show her. One of the two. What am I going to find? It said, look to your left. Kind of feels like somebody's standing behind me. Okay. Oh, it's feeling... What am I going to find in the shower? It said, look over there. Okay, I'm looking. What am I looking for? Are you in the shower? I said, do you see us? No! no, I don't see you. I said, watch out. What was I supposed to find? Said, do you? The thing is going crazy. <clears throat> I've never seen it do that before. Do you? The thing is going crazy. I've never seen it do that before. It's trying to focus. I said, Sunny? Who painted it this? It said fire. Fire? It said look. Look in Open the... Open it. Don't. It look in the fire. Okay. Oh, burn pod in the bedroom. Okay. Look, what am I gonna find in the it fire? Said, it's freaky. It said what was that? It said it's over freaky. here. Looks like it's just wood, what used to be in here. Said get in. No. Said open it. It is open. Get in. Said fire. Said open your mouth. Okay, it's open. Said get in here. It's twice. I'm gonna lock this back up. We're just gonna keep that closed. So what are you exactly? Who are you? You sound kind of mean. Steven. You call me names, you're telling me to get into the fire. I said Steven. So this is Steven. I said who are you? You know who I am, and you know who this is, right? I said I know now. 
Steven, why are you so angry? What happened? What happened, Steven? Said some, some, sound like Ronald hurt me or something like that. I'm sorry to hear that. Ronald. Who is Ronald? The night definitely seemed to pick up after we broke out the Ouija board, and it usually does, but things even got darker when Johnny did the sensory deprivation, and we decided that Johnny needed to do the sensory because his name had come up over and over and over again. So when Johnny sat down to do the sensory, I had high hopes for it, and not only did it really deliver as far as I'm concerned, the night got even darker, and just the things that he was saying was creeping me out, and that's when I started feeling like we got a little bit closer to the mystery of the people having the dreams about the fire, because whatever was speaking through Johnny at that time had actually told me to get into the fireplace. At the end of the night, um, when we were packed up and ready to go, we had something really odd happen with the REM pod um, that was in the bathroom the entire night. I've never seen it through this. Yeah, so we're just packing up. It's flashing purple. And the REM pods are that? Yeah, and that... I guess drained? I don't even know what that means. It's not even... That, yeah, that guy is the... That's the temperature gauge on top, so that's supposed to go... It's clicking. ...blue if it's cold, and red if it gets hotter. But it's just flashing purple. What yeah. happens if I touch it and it does that? Nothing. 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 That doesn't even. Yeah. Yeah. This should light up that. And is your wait? Is your is it dead? Can you reset it? Yeah. Switch to rotate. Yeah. No. Nothing. Maybe it could mean it's just running out of battery. Okay. I don't think so. Green. That one's been going. Oh, okay, blue. The one. What? That makes no sense. No sense. What the? F Something's been like. What? What is going on? Never seen this before. Oh. It was a noise. That was the clicker. Blue to green. It's dead. You heard that noise over here too. I don't know what this means. <coughs> I'm guessing it just means low battery, but... It's weird. I mean, we've had them die before and it's never done that. It's really odd. And then, uh, to hear that noise right out here as soon as you flicked it. We're just getting ready to leave. What is the other one doing? Over here. Huh. My just shattered. Okay, um, I don't know what that means. We're gonna turn this off. And we're gonna put, it near, put it near the clock. Nothing. Don't touch the clock. Okay. Well. What is the other one doing? That's just it. This place is, is odd. Nothing seems very conclusive. It's just very odd. It's, odd. it's like, yeah, if you weren't actually like looking for stuff like we were, you wouldn't have noticed anything. But because we were just like openly trying to mm -hmm. make stuff happen. Yeah, like if, yeah, if you weren't paying attention, it would just like, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You just look past it. Or it just wouldn't even happen because you're not actively trying. Yeah, and yeah, I guess yeah, it would have happened. It's like it's like the saying. Does it? You know? Does it? When a tree falls in the woods, does it make a noise, right? Right. That's true. Hey, well, if there is something here, thank you.
for trying, and if not, then we're talking. But why did that door it's shut? It's that, you know, this was the very end of the night, but I do feel like there is a bit of a story that could have been told. Johnny said it best earlier. We'll just leave this one up to you guys to decide whether or not something is going on here. But if you want our opinion, we do believe that there is something going on There's here. There's something there. But it's not something that we could so neatly wrap up in, in a, a boat. couple of nights like we've been able to do in the past. It doesn't seem Maybe we weren't investigating the right areas. Maybe we weren't asking the right questions. But it also seems to us that whatever we were dealing with, if his name was in fact Steven, then he didn't really want to communicate. And I personally believe that because it seemed like as soon as I started getting somewhere during Johnny's sensory deprivation, in uncovering some of Steven's history, he just disappeared on me. And it especially becomes clear to me, just taking into account how hostile he seemed to me just prior to that. We believe that the success of an investigation lies on the entities and the investigators equally. If Steven didn't want to talk, then there's no way that we could force him. That is but true. I do believe there is more to the story that is yet to be uncovered. And it's something that I believe that we could uncover if we were to go back and visit him again. He probably just doesn't want to be like bothered. He just probably wants to live in peace at that location. And he moved a couple things and that was it. I mean, now all ghosts are completely scary and creepy. I mean, just... There's also that um, theory that some ghosts don't know that they're dead. Like, if you've ever watched the movie The Others, where they thought they were alive. And then they found out that the people that they thought they were the ghosts were actually the living ones. And the people that thought they were alive, they were actually dead. So, for all we know, Steven thinks he's still alive back in the old days that he was in, and he's opening the door. He's touching the hangers of the sock warmers. He's just doing what his normal routine is, and he's not actually trying to uh, connect with the paranormies investigators. He's just living his 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 uh, spiritual life like he thinks he's alive. But you guys be the judge, like uh, the paranormies investigator said. Be the judge. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this is haunted? Do you guys think it's not haunted? Real, fake, fact, fiction, whatever have you. That's why I always leave it to you guys to be the determination if you guys think it's real or fake. And your opinions definitely do matter. So make sure you guys comment down below. Like the video. If you guys liked me watching paranormies and reacting, I would definitely love to know so I can continue doing it. If you guys don't, of course, let me know as well. And we'll see you guys in the next video. So keep it real. Keep it safe. And as always... Keep learning on them. See you guys next time. Peace.